Mystic Den, and I have a new monthly tarot reading for you for August 2023. And if you want to skip through this intro, the timestamps will be down below in the description box. So you can go ahead and um, go pick out your card and start your tarot reading. Please follow me on my Instagram so you can stay up to date for more of my tarot readings. But also follow me on my TikTok where I like to provide um, timeless tarot readings. And without further ado, let's get started with your reading, okay? Remember to take three deep mindful breaths before choosing your card. And if you do resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, just to stay updated, click that notification bell so that you always know when I am posting in the community page or just posting a monthly tarot reading like this one. Let's get into it. Hello, come on in, pile number one, take a seat, and let's go into your monthly reading for August 2023. Alright, so just to start off the energy, I pulled from the Psychic Tarot deck and was presented with this card, Authority. Okay, so you may be dealing with challenges with authority right now, either with a boss or um, Maybe if you are still living under your parents' roof, you could be dealing with your parents right now. But I'm also feeling like a question of your boundaries. Um, this could be you needing to set intentions for what you will and will not accept from others, okay? And I definitely feel like it's a time for you to be, be in a space that's that provides stability for yourself again with the number four you know that is all about <clears throat> sorry about that sorry guys I need to take a little drink for my lemonade okay with the number four I feel like that's insinuating need for um I'm I'm thinking of the uh, the four wands tarot card, and that in itself entails needing to provide more stability for yourself, but needing to like figure out the bigger picture. Okay, like how are you going to start off setting the intention for building your dream home? Is what I'm hearing. Okay. Now I have not used this deck in a long time. My Aquarian tarot deck. I'm pulling it out of retirement because as you can see it's a little frayed. It was my first tarot deck of all time and I just felt called to pull this for the month of August. Okay let's go right into it. I'm gonna be pulling past present future for the month of August 2023. So maybe you guys need to be able to start a conversation with your boss, your parents, um, and it's you need the building blocks for how you want to be able to get your point across, right? Okay, that's your past. Okay, that's present energy for phone number one. Okay, and future for phone number one bottom deck energy is the queen of rods upright okay so that's always good to have that's someone who is going to be setting the intentions okay okay this was your future this is your present and this is your past okay so with the hanged man in the past position pile number one i want to say that you were feeling stuck. You were definitely in a space where 
you're just feeling like you, there's no way to get out. There was no stability for you. Mental is what I'm feeling, no mental stability. Maybe someone in your space was making you feel this way, like you had your hand, hands tied behind your back and you weren't really sure how to get out of it, okay? And I can feel like the anguish in this card for you, pile number one, that needing to take a breather is what I'm feeling, like you're gasping for air because either this is someone putting you in chains is what I'm feeling, or even your own mental chains, right? But it just feels like Whatever the case will may be in your job, personal relationships, even friendships, um, you just felt like you were in a space where you couldn't really get out. Like you couldn't figure out a way to change your current situation. And you got Page of Swords in reverse, okay? And I feel like this is you, since it's in reverse, it's you not taking action not speaking up for what your needs may be um so you need to be able to get into that space in your root not well i said root chakra so you need to give yourself that space of feeling stable grounded into the earth feeling grounded into your future what exactly do you want pile number one ask that of yourself and meditate on that to figure out what is it that you seek in your day-to-day -day life that can bring you what you want which to me is that feeling of stability and you are not taking action in the month of august for speaking up i see that clearly with the page of swords in reverse you are instead holding yourself back and with your future card the nine of rods in re reverse also oh yeah let me put, let me leave this here Okay, so with the Nine of Rods in reverse, this situation, okay, any the situation that you are thinking of right now, pile number one, is not going to move forward. Nine of Rods in reverse sig is significant of slow moving energy. It's not really picking up right now because I can see in your past and present that you have not taken and you have not taken any action although like i feel like your guides want to tell you to speak up they want to tell you that this can either be you or the person that is i i like there's no other way to say it the person against you okay it's either you or them is it going to be them or you keep asking yourself that pile number one how many sacrifices have you done for this group of people for your boss um and think of the sacrifices that you've done for yourself have you made any in general those are the things that you need to ask yourself in this current situation for august okay and i do want to pull from this just to give us some more insight into your current situation these are the karma cards okay situation of pile number one what is the insight that needs to be shared for pile number one what is the insight that needs to be shared for pile number one I'm feeling peace number one this is a card that came up for you for what you need to know from the universe okay things in regards to the eighth house as a life or death issue getting and using power use other people's resources yes okay pile number one you know what to do 
take this situation as as i was explaining earlier it's either you or them as a life or death issue who are you going to choose in a life and death situation you or them pile number one because i feel like if this is in question of an authority if this is in question of a parental figure of a boss figure i feel like they don't respect you pile number one yeah getting and using power use other people's resources be smart in your current situation pile number one you are not completely um i heard useless maybe that is something that you say to yourself you are not useless you are smart you are clever use your gifts pile number one you have cap you have the capability to manifest yourself out of this current situation things in regards to your eighth house look into your astrology look into your eighth house and see if whatever is in the eighth house which sign is affecting your current situation and use it to your advantage we have the internet people okay we are not completely useless we are not what we once was okay like that's something that needed to come out we are not whom we were okay we have evolved and there are things that can help you in your life and it's all up to the matter of are you creative enough to whim yourself out of this situation to magic yourself out of this are you clear enough with your intentions pile number one you need to set boundaries for yourself on how others treat you and how also you allow others to treat you as well pile number one okay and i am gonna pull from the angel answers deck okay to provide more clarity for you pile number one because i really do feel like you need it like for some reason you are not i'm hearing the phrase a fish out of water that's how you are seeing yourself but that is not who you are pile number one the universe wants to let you know hey you are smart you are, you are clever you have your wits use them you were born with them okay wow that's a strong message okay i definitely feel like someone's spirit guide is really trying to talk to you right now pile number one they are coming through okay i'm hearing janice whoever that is to you janice i'm hearing i'm hearing rosalinda rosalinda okay margaret it could be your they could be your names those who i'm seeing right now you're watching me okay yes ask for help from others pile number one just like this right here use other people's resources getting and using power you are not alone you have people that are willing to help you pull you out of this situation pile number one and you need to accept that you need to accept that there are people around you willing to give you the resources to help you get out of this situation okay pile number one that is your message if you resonated and you want to delve deeper into this please just email me tell me about your situation and we can move forward okay if you um just overall enjoyed the way i read this message for you follow for more future tarot readings on my youtube channel and also to stay in touch and maybe if you're local you can come and visit my business and get a tarot reading in person um so follow me on my instagram so you can stay up to date to when i go to more pop-ups and follow my tiktok for more timeless readings that you may resonate with okay i wish you abundance i wish you love and i thank you for your time okay time is currency and i thank you for using it here with me and i wish to see you next time okay bye hello pile number two welcome 
come sit in the space and take a moment for yourself, okay? Let's look into your monthly reading for August 2023. Okay, so we're looking at this card here. Stand your ground. This is from the Psychic Tarot deck. Okay, stand your ground, yes. Something is at the forefront, something that was cyclical. And I want to say that you've made it, you've accomplished something, you may have finally decided to move at, like, move at the own beat of your drum. That's something that just came through. So you're finally saying um, enough is enough. I'm not going to be doing what everybody else is doing, okay? And I will be pulling past, present, future from my Aquarian Tarot deck. And I'm pulling out the retirement. This is the first deck I've ever had, the first deck I ever started to practice with. You can tell it's a little frayed, but I just felt called to use this deck for this month okay and we're gonna go with it okay. i'm hearing a lot of like peace love peace love yeah you're maybe saying enough is enough to someone who's been trying to drag you down to where they want wanted you to be at okay <clears throat> death in reverse okay a cycle yeah a cycle has ended a cycle has gone through and the future okay the future does not want to be revealed yet okay so with your past energy the judgment in reverse that to me feels like something um karma related finished in your current past you saw someone get their karma is what i'm feeling and hearing you've witnessed someone kind of go through um a cycle yeah and you you know what you said enough is enough you didn't want to be in that space anymore so the universe kind of brought that judgment to light brought the truth to light to you and you used that you finally decided like you know what i was meant to see this for a reason i was meant to like obviously find this shit out one way or another and i'm glad i did because now this is your current present two of rods it's time for you to make a decision pile number two it's time for you to really ask yourself the important question of I have the power that is within me you know how they're holding the sphere that's your energy I have control of my energy and how interesting that they're holding the sphere and this person is also standing their ground against this like giant sphere as well okay it's like you're finally taking control of your energy and you're saying you know what scratch that I have two options ahead of me. I'm in control of my space right now. What am I going to do with it? That's what you're asking yourself right now, pile number two. What am I going to do now, now that I know what I know? Okay? And your current future. Oh, baby. Yeah. Ten of swords. Okay? Your future energy is ten of swords. Yeah, this is going to hurt. It's, it's going to be a little triggering is the word that, I, that came to me. Okay. You're going to feel the weight of it. There could be people that are looking down at you. Um, it, like, after figuring this out and you decide to... You, you decide to move on. I want to feel that 
there aren't going to be many people that are going to be siding with you there may be even people telling you that what are you doing like that you made it to this point and now you're going to do what what do you mean like isn't this what you wanted but people never know the full story people never know what happens behind closed doors pile number two you're the one that saw everything you're the one that witnessed it went through it felt it the pain not them so for them to place your judgment in the wrong it's kind of like no 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 you are not in control of what i do with my life okay so, yeah oh wow that energy you know that stand your ground energy yes tell those people you do not know what i've been through okay yes maybe this is what i wanted but maybe not anymore because i kind of saw the reality of it the reality of it i saw the truth of it which could be in regards to your career maybe you got to that job that you really really loved and then now that you're there you're kind of like well this is the truth of this i thought it was going to be better the universe allows you to continue growing to continue learning don't see it as the end and that's why in your current present energy you're kind of like holding that rod still and kind of being like should i stay or should i go what should i do and there's gonna be anguish okay with this decision but the universe is really pushing you to stand firm on your ground please root right now okay cleanse that root chakra oh, excuse me i just burped take that as confirmation if you will let's see what the universe wants you to know right now okay let's see if i keep touching my hair it's because i keep feeling like something tugging on my hair so i don't know maybe that's what your guides like to do to you to get you into the right direction you feel like your hair is being pulled or something i don't know Let's see. what is the energy Ooh, okay so oh oh the thing just fell Oh my god. Anyways, I guess, I don't know. My guides want me with my loose hair. Loose hair. And that reminds me of that song. I wet my hair back and forth. I wet my hair back and forth. Okay. Anyways. There you go, Jupiter and Leo. We have learn or teach self-confidence to create. Be positive about taking a chance on grow and expand resulting from the impressiveness of okay i love how these cards read so well together you know yeah this deck is magical okay so look into your astrology Jup you look at your jupiter okay this could be also you having leo in your jupiter but to re remember take what resonates leave what doesn't okay leave the rest but yeah it's time to teach yourself something new time to learn something different you need your confidence to create something new out of this situation and it's time for you to be positive and the guides want you to take a chance on something okay it's definitely time for you to grow and it's time for you to impress people also is what i'm feeling it's time for you to play into that role of i'm no longer gonna be playing the game that other people like to assert on me i am taking that leap of faith that chance to do something i love okay and your angel answers okay what needs to be said for pile number two what needs to be said for pile number two Let's see here. What needs to be said for pile number two? Okay. Yes. Ooh. 
romance. Okay, pile number two. I instantly felt like, like the the phrase "fall in love with your with yourself." Fall in love with yourself. Yeah, it it's like you need to find that confidence in yourself, that like assurance that like yeah you are enough and you deserve way better than this okay it's gonna be a very complicated situation is kind of what i'm feeling pile number two but please allow yourself space to grow please allow yourself to feel love from others and from you okay remember that you are also allowed to love yourself nobody knows you better than you do pile number two okay i hope you enjoyed your reading if you resonated and you want to delve a little deeper into this email me explain to me your situation and we can move forward through that if you overall just enjoyed this reading and would like to see more of my content please subscribe like and share to your friends that also love tarot readings and also to even if you're local visit me at my pop-up i provide tarot readings in person as well and uh, you can follow me on my instagram we'll have that here on the page and follow me on my tiktok where i mostly post timeless tarot readings okay for my viewers when you subscribe to my channel these messages are for you okay i meditate on the cards and my intention is set with my subscribers so these messages are free for you okay thank you so much for staying this long time is a valuable currency and i appreciate that you chose to spend it with me okay thank you so much and i'll see you next time bye hello pile number three welcome to your tarot reading for august 2023 Come on in, have a seat, let's delve into this, okay? So I pulled from the Psychic Tarot deck and you got Wisdom, okay? Five, the number five. You are going through a significant change in your life right now. Could be um, you're conscious, consciously moving the neck to the next level is something that came to me. Yeah, with this man carrying this book, and it looks like he's leaving something behind. And you have a spiritual companion with you now, okay? Your familiar could have passed on, or your familiar is in the astral realm, okay? And they are, gui they are being guided to be with you at this time, okay? But you, I definitely feel like you are lifting up, like you are... Yeah, leveling up, you are accepting this book of knowledge that's being presented by you, by your guides. You could be someone who's into astrology, into tarot reading, or just someone who enjoys meditating. Ooh, I burped. Just got a confirmation. Ooh, someone who enjoys meditating and connecting to that higher consciousness, that we all know humans are capable of if you just take time out to meditate for an hour a day okay i'm just saying <laughs> let's see oh oh okay the cards really want to talk they... <sighs> okay i'm pulling my aquarian tarot deck i haven't used this deck in a number of years this was my first deck that I got, okay, and I feel like I've been, yeah, this is like, I'm very tied to this deck because it was my first one, and as you can see, it's a little dirty, it's a little frayed on the sides, but I decided to pull this out to you, for you, for August 2023, monthly tarot reading. Please give me the current past for pile number three, for those who chose pile number three. Beautiful. Present for pile number three, please. 
is the present energy for power number three. Okay. And what is the future? What is the current future for those who chose power number three? What is the future for those who chose power number three? Okay. The bottom deck energy. What is it? Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. You are in a time right now where this knowledge, this higher being of yourself, that you're realizing that we're more than just this material meat suit that we all share, okay? You're getting that emotional fulfillment from finding wisdom, okay? Your current past is the hermit. I'm not surprised. This is just confirmation that in your that you've been on a spiritual journey that you've been on a journey of knowledge knowledge is power y'all okay like you could be in school think thinking about going back to school thinking about just learning something new okay the metaphysical or simply like i'm hearing someone like picking up an algebra book and just being like oh i'm just gonna refresh my mind on some algebra you know, without any implications of like having to be perfect on it, getting a 100% on a quiz, regard like getting rid of that judgment and just going purely from your heart. Like, I'm just going to try and learn this on my own without that feeling of like, I need to be perfect on it which is so beautiful, pile number three. You are releasing judgment is definitely something that I'm feeling. And I definitely feel that it's been a lonely journey of knowledge, like in your past, like you've, you've kind of shut yourself out from the mediocre, the mediocre, okay? Things that just don't matter, okay? This isn't gonna be for everybody. This is like a specific message for those who are psychics okay Let's see your current present energy four of pentacles yeah you are I, I i just have a feeling like you are just being conscious of what you do have you're being grateful for what you do have okay like you're on a different level pile number three i'm hearing you see all you see all of it or you are now realizing that everything is the same we are all one we are all one-minded okay is something that i'm feeling that i'm really picking up on this material world the, the things that you have right now pile number three you are looking at them and yes you are holding on to them but it's almost like like look at this person holding on to the pentacles you are being stoic right now pile number three you are acknowledging all that you have but also you are seeking more out of this realm okay and you are being shown a lot pile number three okay you have you are not completely alone on this journey even though you may not have um human friends <laughs> you may not have human friends but i'm feeling like you do have animals that are on a different level like this person has a dog okay you are coming into contact with with a different animal right now that i think you're starting to realize that you guys are one in the same woven in the same cloth that being because animals are they simply are other beings okay they have souls they are just on a different journey compared to us but you are both seeking the same thing and this is this goes i'm hearing dimensions this goes past dimensions so maybe you have met them before in a past life and you are reuniting with them okay wow this is a very like spiritual message you are someone who is very spiritual you believe in the unseen and you believe that there is so much more okay 
and you have the queen of Pen uh, pentacles in reverse okay i'm i'm feeling someone who is currently yeah like you're relinquishing that need for more material wealth is something that's coming through you are on a different level like i keep having to look up like i'm looking up during this reading and that is something that you are doing i feel like a lot right now like you are just simply always moving forward always looking at the bright side of things and you are no longer being attached to the physical okay there is something more to you that is no longer being satiated i think that's how the word is i, I burped again Ooh, confirmation but you are no longer being burdened by the material world okay but also be wary okay i feel like be wary of not being in this state okay we are more than just these neat suits but remember that we are still here okay pile number three and let's look into what the universe wants to share with you right now okay what does the universe want you to know i'm hearing don't forget about the now okay you are still here you are a dreamer pile number three you are i'm hearing pisces okay someone who is always daydreaming which isn't always like bad but i have a feeling like your material world is like i'm seeing an image of sand slipping through someone's fingers like you are out of this world literally you are someone who meditates a lot and yeah like the man that i showed you earlier you are okay with wearing these rags and having your spiritual familiar with you you don't need the opinions of others to sway you in this life to give you life and you know what you want and you and it's just simply being it's just simply to be is what i'm feeling a lot for pile number three wow beautiful yes okay you got in the second house your beliefs what you value your resources yes okay so your beliefs are coming into play right now pile number three and you are learning about what you value most look into where what sign the second house is in and that should resonate with this reading right now what you should be valuing and try and make your resources your material material world connect with um what you value okay i'm hearing that you are a deeply evolved spiritual being and you can use this to bring more abundance into your life pile number three and it's all about needing to come back to this realm okay and connecting to you okay to your physical self it's time to manifest more things for yourself not just in the spiritual but in the material your guides want to see you be in a better state they want to see you i'm hearing thrive okay you have the knowledge right now you may be feeling alone but there are others who look to you and probably see like hmm, she look she or they or he looks like they have something really interesting to say okay boo let's do this I really like in this reading i really find myself just fixated on certain things in my room okay and that's that could be what you're doing i mean your energy yes reconsider pile number three your guides want you to reconsider all that you're doing you may have just given up on this world like like, I just feel like, you know what? Like, this is what you're saying to yourself. What is the point? 
of it all if we are all just not united if we are all just in our own world we are but don't forget that in the higher consciousness we are all one and you can connect to more people connect to that consciousness of oneness and you will feel it that we yes that there is more to life than this material world but reconsider how you're viewing it reconsider that you may be viewing this in, in a, almost a pessimistic kind of way something that's coming in pile number three but please reconsider where you are going right now what you want to bring into your life right now reconsider okay if you enjoyed this reading please subscribe like and share to your friends okay and if you resonated with this reading in particular um if you feel called to delve deeper into this please um email me okay we can move forward through that and um please follow me on instagram so you can see when i am providing more pop-ups for my small business and if you're local maybe you can get a tarot reading by me in person and please follow my tiktok i'll have them posted here um so that you can watch more timeless tarot readings like okay like the ones i post on tiktok but thank you so much for staying in this space pile number three time is the most valuable currency and i am so happy that you chose to spend it here with me right now and i'll see you next time Bye.